When we got married, we hoped and prayed that um, adoption would be part of our family planning. We had a hard time getting pregnant. Well, we thought, let's just begin the adoption process. Well, we get pregnant and uh, our first child is born. We started the process a second time, but this time we also wanted to become licensed foster parents. And so shortly afterwards, we became pregnant with Sam. And Peter thought, well, when he's three months old, we'll be able to take in another child. I was not ready. I was, I was still struggling with uh, being a new mom to two young kids. When he was six months, Peter said, okay, now we're ready. And I said, no, we're not, I'm not ready. And right around the time Sammy turned one, I knew, I knew we were ready. A few months later, Morgan came into our lives and it was, uh, it was quite an adjustment, uh, not only to, to go from two kids to three, but just to all of a sudden have a three and a half year old boy. A year and a half later, we adopted Morgan. Uh, and since then, uh, we've had a whole lot of other kids coming in and out of our doors. Every child that's come into my home, I've wanted to keep forever. So we've had many heartbreaks of, of having to say goodbye because it was not the plan for them to stay with us. For instance, it, we, we had a little girl, uh, Lizzie. She came to us at three and a half months old. She had 10 or 11 fractured bones, uh, ribs, wrist, and a fractured skull, all at the hands of her father. The judge decided to change uh, physical custody of, of her. It was really hard. And two weeks later, I came in and there's 20 guys in my living room. And they just said, um, we know you're going through a tough time. We just, we're here to pray for you. And I'm just so thankful that I've got a church family that is willing to come alongside. God has entrusted these kids in, into my care for however long, and, and my role is to show them what a father looks like and what a father's love looks like. But after that, listen, the good news is, it's up to God. That the rest is His miracle. We're doing this to show the love of Christ to the kids in our home, to their families, everybody that we come in contact with. It's all to show the love of Christ. I often feel like my heart is in many pieces around the city when I think about all my kids that are not under my roof, but um, I'm you know, thankful to have been able to be a mom to all of them. My name is Peter Bartolini. My name is Julie Bartolini. And this is our story.